were just walking to the train station, but Chris wanted to stop and take a picture of this cool building here. Cappuccino, uh, mm, croissants, and a Klein beer was eight euros. We made it onto the Regional Seven, so we're taking this one for roughly an hour and a half to get to Carl's Rue. Let's go. The regional trains that we took were free, but the portion we paid for was 35 euros or $50 Canadian. After a long day of transiting, that was about, I think we left at 11.30 and it's six. We are in the city of Heidelberg. Right now we're just gonna go find some food because we are hungry and exhausted from a whole day of trains. It took a little while for us to find the restaurant on Google Maps. It looks like it's closer to the waterfront. So we went through this area that said like water sports, but there was no way to go up. So you had to go like all the way around. It's on this street here, not, not on the waterfront side. You have to come in from this side, but the food was delicious. The portion sizes are very, very large. I thought it was a bit expensive, but it just turns out it's a massive portion size. All right, we're gonna go walk down the waterfront. So that's where we're heading tomorrow. I don't know if you can see the castle in the background, the Schloss. So all the alcohol at the waterfront seemed a little pricey to us. Four euro plus for a beer. And both of these cost, where's yours? There it is. Both of these cost 5.50, so much better deal. So we found a good spot on the grass to chill. We can still see the Schloss, you can see the river. There's such a wide variety of people here. There's like families, there's people playing games. Two guys wrestling over there. <laughs> Seems like the place to be tonight. So we are walking through the Allstadt, the old town, on our way to the Schloss, which I can actually see in the distance right now. We were hoping to do one of the little museum things in the old town on the way, but it doesn't open till 10, and the Schloss opens at 10, and we wanted to be like some of the first people there. So we're just gonna have to come back to the old town after. I can see why people take the tram up, because this is quite steep. The section behind me, the tower that looks like it's fallen, it didn't just fall. According to that plaque, it was blown up during the War of Succession in 
I just bought our tickets. I got two tickets. Uh, they were nine euro each, so that's 18 euro for both of us. Uh, we didn't get the audio guide. That was an additional four euro 50. We also tried to be the first people here at 10 when they open, and um, it looks like that was a lot of other people's plan as well. There's a lot of groups. Oh, wait, you can see one behind me. Like tour groups with lots and lots of people. So I don't think it makes any difference if you're here right when they open or not. So we came in here because supposedly the big barrel is something to see. And I was like, oh, it's this barrel. It's, it's quite large. This is clearly it. There is an even bigger barrel. <laughs> I'm on top of the big barrel. This is literally on top of it. Here's it. That is it for the inner courtyard portion. Now we're just gonna walk around the outside. It is like a little pricey because there isn't a whole lot to do in there other than the big barrel, which is really cool, and the museum. So you don't actually have to come here and pay the ticket price. You could just walk around the outside. The view from the balcony is really spectacular, but we're gonna see what the views around the rest of the castle look like and maybe you don't even need to pay to get in. So the exit from the inner castle ends up on the path that we walked up this morning and we want to try and get on the other side of the castle to look at the views looking down at it. So now we got to figure out like go down and figure out how to get around to the other side. All right so I take it back. Don't pay the ticket. The only really cool thing was the courtyard view. Um, I mean in the big barrel if you're into barrels. But look at this view. This is in the garden which is free. We're both feeling pretty hungry. We're gonna walk towards the gardens. I don't think we're gonna walk through them all, but maybe just see what they look like from the edge. There's some statues and there's a couple ponds, trees, but mostly just grass. The terrace viewpoint is amazing and it's definitely worth walking over here, but the gardens are, unless I'm missing something, they're very uneventful. That is it here at Schloss Heidelberg. Uh, we're gonna go try and find some food down somewhere in town now and uh, check out the old bridge as well. The exterior walk around the castle is really beautiful. The viewpoints are amazing, like this one and the terrace on the other side. In the inner courtyard for eight euros, I didn't think there was enough to justify that cost. Like when we did that, we hadn't fully walked around the outside and looked at all the viewpoints. So I was like, wow, this view is amazing. And then I realized that the terrace view is free. I don't necessarily think you need to pay the eight euros to go into the courtyard, but I definitely think you should come check this out for the views of the city here. They're beautiful. So we are crossing the famous arch bridge to get to what's called the Philosopher's Way, which is where the philosophers from the university here used to walk and ponder things overlooking the whole city. All right, so it looks like this is the start of it. It's a nice view of the castle there. 
But we're not there yet, so we're gonna keep going. All right, so we made it to the top. I am sweating a little bit, it's quite hot out. I would actually be so excited if those were rain clouds. So the rest of it is paved and mostly downhill, so we're just gonna continue on towards the other bridge. Let's go. We made it, we are now walking down the Philosopher's Way, which is this paved path behind me, and just look at the view of the Schloss, the river, the old town. It's gorgeous. This town is full of amazing views. Definitely worth coming if you're in the area. All right, so that's it. We've reached the end of the Philosopher's Way. Uh, it ends in this road here that will now take us down to the bridge that will put us near our hotel. So that was fun. Mostly I pondered about how lucky we are to be traveling. Tomorrow we are leaving this beautiful city and we are going to a surprise city. I'm not gonna say what it is. I'll show you when we get there. I will see you in the next one. And as always, thank you for watching. Bye.